So a very, uh, very exciting day today. I've just received 24 of these. Uh, this is a birimbau. It's a very famous instrument in Brazil. Uh, and uh, I plan to teach the kids how to play this. Um, I've been playing it myself for quite a few years now. Um, most people in Sydney who know me would know that because I turn up to every single party possible with one of these in my hand. This is a kid's kid sized one. Um, very very cute, very very light, very easy to hold. The bearing power consists of a kavasa, a piece of wire called an arami, and basically a, a stick. And when we hit the wire we get a certain certain sound. So it's going to be a lot of fun teaching the, the kids this, and this is something that's part of their culture, so that's, that's quite exciting too. Um, I'll show you what one sounds like. This is one that I've got tuned up, it's a little bit bigger, it's like an adult's one. Basically you just take this stick and you hit the wire. But in conjunction with that, there's also this kind of tricky little stone here, and uh, I will hold that against the wire. So if I now was to play it properly, you just so you can see how the hand movement is. So the Birimbau really is one of the most iconic instruments in the whole of Brazil. Uh, it's used traditionally as part of uh, an instrument of capoeira. Um, and very important in Brazilian culture, probably especially in the, in the northeast where I am. So I took one of these along to the class and I held it up and I said, who knows what this is? And probably out of four of my classes, so that's getting close to 70, 70 kids, I think, two, two knew the name of it, and maybe only one of those actually knew what it sounded like. Um, I thought that was, that was kind of interesting. I was expecting that quite a lot of them would have seen this and, 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 and knew what it was about or what it was like, but I probably had never played one. So I suppose, that's, I suppose that made it even more special um, to introduce to them something kind of new that's actually part of their culture. That's quite a, a unique experience. And then to be able to teach them how to play this is, uh, that's, well, that's very uh, fl flattering as well. Yeah. So I, I find that quite an honor. Yeah.